Have you ever seen something like this inside elements of page builder? When I scroll back up it reverses and when I pause the animation stops. This is just so cool so stick around to see how I pulled off this scroll trigger effect so using elementor containers. And I'll also show you how to easily swap out each video so it fits your needs. So in this video you'll learn how to recreate this rotating gallery effect on your own website to impress your visitors. To make this happen we'll need to think outside the box and use Elementor in a different way than we're used to. Okay, let's get started. So now I'm inside the Elementor editor and as you can see I have deleted the entire section so we can recreate it together from scratch. But one, one important thing before we start and that is that this is actually a bit hard to pull off. So I made this link where you can just go ahead and download this template as a ready to import template. So I will create the first container which is our main container. This should just be boxed. Then I'll go into style and change the background color and make it this eggshell color which is the same as the rest of the page. Then navigate to advanced and make sure you remove the margin and remove the padding and give it 200 pixels at the bottom. Then go ahead and find a new container and drag it inside. Make sure the direction is right and go into advanced because we need to insert our first CSS class. So in the link of this video you will find this website and here is everything you need for in order for this to work. So the first class we need to insert is this page wrap. I'll just copy that and go back and make sure to insert it here down at the classes. If I navigate back to this link, you can see that there is a lot of CSS classes and IDs and some code. So just remember that we need to make a lot of containers in order for this to work. But don't worry, if you just follow each step in this tutorial, it shouldn't be confusing for you. And I will make sure to show you everything. So next step is to insert a new container. I'll just drag in a new one here and make sure it's 100% in width and then go to advanced and insert the next CSS class which is container. I'll just copy it and go back and give it the CSS class here. I know it's a lot of containers but you need to insert one more here inside and make sure it has no direction and then again go to advanced and give this a new CSS class. I'll just go back and take the third one here scroll track. I will just copy it and insert it here. Now we need to do this process again two times. So I will drag in a new container inside and as you can see we have a lot already here and make sure it has no direction. Go to advanced and then just take the next class which is scroll div. Copy it and insert it. Again do it one more time and drag in the container Make sure it has no direction, go into advanced and go back to the code and insert and copy this grid grid list and insert it here. Now I want you to right click and find the navigator so we have a better overview of what we are building. So here is the first container and here is all the other containers. So go ahead again and drag in a container here and make sure it has no direction and go to advanced and go back to the code here. And this time you actually need to insert an ID. So I'll just copy this ID and go back in here and insert it here. And down in the class you need to use this, the next one, which is block. Okay, so one more container before we start inserting the videos. So drag in the new container, set it to no direction and go into advanced and find the next class which is the last class. So I'll just copy the last class here and insert it here. Okay now it's time to insert a video. So go ahead and find the video widget and insert it here and then make sure to toggle on the first four of these settings and remove the other two. So these two are toggled off and make sure it's set to self-hosted. And then I'll just go ahead and find my first video. This will be the center video. 
Okay, now you need to go into advanced because this video actually needs to have a CSS class also. And I can see I made a small mistake because I actually forgot the last class down here. I will fix this once the video is out, but for now I'll just go back and type it myself. It's just video list. Okay, so now we have the structure in place. So this is where the magic happens because now we need to insert a few lines of code. So go ahead and search for the HTML widget and drag it in and insert it here at the bottom. Now you go back to my link here and scroll down and insert this CSS class. You need to insert every line of code of this. So just click copy and go back and insert it here. Now you can see it beginning to look like the final result actually. But you need to insert some more code. So go ahead and just duplicate this HTML field. So we you have two fields here at the bottom. And go ahead and find the newest uh, HTML field and delete everything like this so it's empty. Then I go back into my code and copy the last part of the code which is this one. So click copy here and go back and insert it here. Okay, now you can see it's really looking like the final result with the spinning effect. What we need to do now is just do this to every video and there is nine videos in total. So we need to create a container for every video and do that nine times. I know this is a tough one because there is so many containers and I will actually create even more in a minute. Just remember that this is still a possibility. You can download this as a ready to import template. And you can also just get my subscription, which is this one. And you will get access to every template that I made. Okay, let's go back and continue. To save time, you can actually just duplicate these containers. So before you do that, go ahead and change the name of this to video one. Make sure it's the container with the class of block that you change the name to. So after naming it video one, you just go ahead and duplicate this and change this to video two. But then you need to change the classes and IDs. So click on this container and go into advanced. So go back here and scroll up and then you need to find the second ID and copy it. Go back and insert it here. So now you see the video just is at the right place when you inserted the right CSS ID. The CSS class you just leave, it needs to be blocked again. Then go inside the video container and find the actual video widget down here. So I will click on this and then go into advanced. As you can see, this already has a video list, which is fine, but you need to give it a CSS ID. So go back to the link and copy this one and then go back again and insert it. So now we need to duplicate this process with every video and do this nine times. So one thing I just forgot is that you of course also need to change the video. So I'll just go into style and oh sorry content and choose the video which is this one. All right so let me go ahead and duplicate this container again and change the name to three and then go into advanced and insert the correct CSS ID. So go back here and take the next CSS ID, which is this one and go back and insert it here and just leave the CSS class as it is this block. Then go ahead and open the container and find the video again and change the video. I'll just change it to this one, go into advanced and make sure I put in the correct ID. So go back to the code and copy this ID this time. Then I'll just duplicate this process again. Duplicate number three and change it to the name of four. Go inside advanced and find the CSS ID for this one. Go back here and copy this and insert it here. Leave the block again and open the container, find the video and find the correct video which is this one go into advanced and again the next css id is this one copy that and insert it here so i'll just go ahead and do this and follow you through the process although you probably already know what i'm going to do now but i'll just make sure that you don't make any mistakes so i will just create all nine videos 
Let me go ahead and duplicate this and make it number five. And then go into advanced, insert the correct ID and which is this one, number 15, copy this and insert it here. Open the video and change the content and go into advanced and here in CSS ID, just take the next one, which is this, insert it here. Then again, it's I will just do this a bit faster this time or the next uh, four videos. So number six here, advanced, find the next ID, insert it here and open it, change the video and go into advanced, copy the next. You're almost there. Next ID inserted here and repeat the process with number seven. Go into advanced, copy number 23 for number seven. Insert it here, open the video, change the video file to number seven, advanced and CSS class. We need to copy the next CSS class, which is here. All right, two more to go. So duplicate this, change it to eight, go into the code, copy the next one, insert it inside advanced, open the damn container, change the advanced ID to this one. Okay, last one, duplicate it. Maybe I'll just fast forward number nine, advanced. And this is the last id of the container go inside and find the video id change this to this one like that okay so now it's finally time to watch the end result and see if everything works inside a new tab and thankfully it does if you enjoyed this video and want more scroll trigger tutorials then check out this next video